Fishing for tarpon in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula is fantastic, but it includes a number of different habitats and you need to be ready. Fish can be anywhere from two pound little babies up to 150 pound giants during the migration. So it's important to come prepared. And for that, I bring you my top 10 favorite tarpon flies that cover all the bases. You probably heard a lot of people talking about the need for top water flies, especially when you're fishing for baby tarpon. Well, I got that covered with the gurgler, a fantastic fly that mimics essentially a shrimp on top of the water and uses some foam to create the buoyancy and also a lip that allows you to create a little disturbance to attract the, the attention of the fish. Another really popular fly, at least for me, it's been quite productive, is a smaller version of Lou Tabor's snake fly. It's actually a fly that was originally designed for striped bass in the Northeast, but if you scale it down, it is absolutely a killer on baby tarpon. It has a spun deer hair head, and then just uses some ostrich feathers in the back with a little bit of flash, and the swimming action on this fly is fantastic. I like black, in particularly because it's a great fly for off-color water. Even when the water is really cloudy, the contrast makes it very visible to tarpon, and we've had fantastic action even when you can't can't see the fish. Another fly that I absolutely love, especially for small to medium sized tarpon, is the Tuscan slider. This one uses strips of foam to actually create sort of like a pulvert hackle or deer hair head. That's what creates the buoyancy. It also pushes a nice little wake on top of the water. And depending on what you use for the tail and how big it is, it can be a straight top water fly or it can be a slider that actually just swims just under the surface film. A fantastic fly. I like it in white and I also like it in uh, chartreuse, particularly for when the water is off color. Another wonderful fly that's actually been around for a long, long time is the seducer. This is one of the classics, but it continues to catch fish in all types of water. And it just uses saddle hackle to tie a split wing, as you can see back here, and also to palmer around the neck. And that's what creates the buoyancy. If you just make a couple of extra false casts to dry it, you make sure that that fly stays really high in the water. If you actually jig it a couple of times, it gets it wet and it now becomes a fantastic swimmer just under the surface again. Uh, it's simply a slider at that point. Catches fish of all sizes. I'm confident throwing this at any size dart. Now let's go subsurface. My absolutely favorite fly, my number one choice that always, always makes it in my bag when I travel to the Yucatan is the Midnight Mullet. The Midnight Mullet is a Mike Connor pattern that has undergone a few changes here and there. And it's simply a very, very easy to tie streamer. It's white, a little bit of flash, and in one grizzly hack on each side to resemble scales. And a big feature here is the eyes. There's no weight on this fly, but just the eyes alone give it enough weight to sink below the surface. And if you wait a few minutes, or I should say a few seconds, it'll actually drop a foot or so. And it's a fantastic fly if you're fishing lagoons where the water is anywhere from two to five feet of water. Another popular fly in the Yucatan is a glass minnow imitation. And this one can have a green back, it can have a gray back, or it can be all white. Um, the key here is just a little bit of flash, uh, a little bit of angel hair. Uh, you can also tie this with craft fur. The key is simply contrast between the back and the body, a little bit of flash. And again, another important feature is the eyes. That gives it the realism that make it look like the real deal and baby tarpon just can't resist it. And every tarpon angler knows the tarpon toad. But if you're coming to fish for a small tarpon in the Yucatan, you want a much smaller version. You'll notice the head is actually pretty small, but a key feature again, the eyes, and this one it's nylon eyes to give it that shrimpy look. Um, you can tie this with marabou for the tail, or you can tie it with zonker strip like I do. I like zonker because of the action. I think it actually has a little bit better swimming action than just the, uh, the marabou. And of course, you gotta scale down the size of the hooks to make sure it doesn't sink too fast. Another popular um, fly that's been around probably for, I don't know, 40, 50 years, um, one of the first uh, productive tarpon catchers is the cockroach. But if you're coming to the Yucatan, particularly when you're fishing for juveniles, you want to tie a sparse version of the, of the, uh, of the fly. I'm only using two um, hackles on each side um, so that it's, it remains light, it doesn't sink very fast, 
but it has the desired look. It actually looks um, like a little, a little shrimp or a crab. And I like to add a little bit of orange thread at, uh, right at the head so it's easier for me to see it in the water if it's a little bit off color. Now, if you are fishing for the bigger migratory fish, which usually happens in deeper water, we're gonna be fishing Holbosch Island that's famous for fishing the schools of rolling fish in anywhere from 10 to 20 feet of water. You gotta go deep. And for that, I have a couple of different versions of the Whistler fly. This one has the larger uh, lead eyes and the typical split wing version with, of course, some flash. And then I have a second version and this one I replaced the hackle with some soccer strip, still lots of flash, still the lead eyes, but I also have marabou for the collar to add a little bit more flutter as the fly goes up and down with a jigging motion. And there you have it. That's Alex's top 10 tarpon flies for Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula.